One of the things that social scientists can't answer is the most fundamental mystery of all, which is what is speaking back? How do we understand that invisible other? Um, how do we understand this fundamental religious impulse? I think Americans more than other people have their own doubts are foregrounded and the sense of themselves as rational people who evaluate and are skeptical of their own commitments. That is a cultural piece of our heritage. I should say that people anywhere in the world are all individual and varied in the way that they interact with what they call God. But doubting that there is any supernatural thing at all just does not seem salient to many of the people that I have met in Ghana, in Chennai. Even the urban Chinese do not have this intense qualification that the Americans have, even deeply believing Americans. They will tell you they are proud of having considered and analyzed and rationalized and evaluated and maybe rejected the rational analysis or not, but they tell you that they have examined this question of whether the supernatural is real and they have come to a decision about that. And that impulse is particular to this part of the world in a way that it just is not anywhere else I have been. What intrigues me is why some people are more able to experience God than others, why prayer practice, why meditation practice, why certain practices seems to change somebody's experience. It turns out that the more somebody is willing to become absorbed in their inner experience, the more likely they are to report that they experience God vividly. There are many moments that stay with me from my ethnographic fieldwork. One of them is the experience of sitting with people when they described sort of a precious moment, the moment where they got it, as they described it, they really got it that God loved them. I was sitting with very faithful Christians, many years standing, and the fact that there would be this moment when they remembered when the penny dropped. Even though they'd been to church for years, the penny dropped and they felt God's love. And they knew that there was something real about that. That captured me. I found it very moving. And when I began this journey, I thought the people were really different from me. And then at the end of the journey, I didn't think they were so different at all. Thank you.